Hi, students. I hope all of you are well and your family is also in good health. Definitely the time is not good for all of us, but together we are going to fight this. Let's start with the class. As uh, in the last meeting, we have been talking about nonverbal communication and as what speech makes a difference in a communication. So uh, I ended up by saying that the next class would be on intonation and modulation. I'm going to share with you today a bit about modulation. If I can be completing that in one, we will be talking about intonation as well. And if I cannot complete that in this one lecture, I will be giving you a different lecture on, a separate lecture on intonation as well. Now from where we ended the whole class on communication was that certain elements that completes one communication as uh, you must be uh, recalling the pie chart that I've made with you of uh, something as 7%, 38%, and 58.5%. So when we were talking about that, that when we are communicating with people around, right now when I'm communicating with you, now you have two pictures. One, when we were communicating in the, communicating in the class, when you can see me, and right now when you cannot see me but hear me, you'll understand it much better now. It is for you to understand that this same contents that comprises a communication remains quite similar in all the aspects. So we have understood that 7% is about spoken words, 38% is about voice and tone, and 55% is about the body language. Today, we are going to talk more about this 38% that comprises of our voice, which actually transfers the message from one person to, the, to another person. Needless to say that in the last class, we have already discussed about that however 7% looks smaller, it is actually not in any case less, than, uh, less important than anything else. It is like, completing the whole sense of communication. So when we are talking about this 38% which comprises of our voice, tone, sound that, hear, that you hear and by which the communication actually reaches to the other person and is ready for the other person to comprehend and take action and reach out to the process of feedback which we all know is one of the most important feature of the cycle of communication. If you can see the first slide of my uh, class today, you'll find that there is a quotation that laughter is the mind's intonation. There are ways of laughing which have the sound of quote fed coins. Now it is for just uh, it is just for you people to understand that. Laughter might not have a language behind that, that we are talking about communication, but it do speak a lot. Even when you are laughing, the tone behind is speaking much more than what it is actually bringing as a sound. So this is where the intonation, the sound works, and that is why we'll we have to understand that a major portion of 38% is actually conveyed through this. Two most important features of this uh, para language or this vo voice is about modulation and intonation. So just uh, let's start with the modulation first. You've been, uh, you have learned about all this a bit in bits in the uh, previous semester as well. So I believe it will be easier for you to understand as what it is, but I'll try and make it as easy as possible so that you can relate to it. So what is voice modulation? In simple words, we can be saying that it is actually the rhythm in our speech. 
if you do not have a rhythm in your speech, have you ever imagined how would you sound? Yes. If we are not having that voice modulation, our voice would not be interesting enough for the other person to understand and comprehend. And hence, you will fail in your communication. Now, voice modulation is what? It is the skill which helps us to add emotion into the message that you are going to convey to the other person. It also helps us to ornament our sentence with expression, proper motions, perfect, using perfect pitch and volume. So what all of these are, this is actually adding up some rhythm to your speech. Like why right now when I'm speaking to you, if you can just relate to what I'm saying, you'll find that my pitches, pitching is variating. The way I am speaking is having different senses because the way I am modulating and speaking to you. So think about when some machine uh, or a mechanical thing is bringing out, let's say the computer is speaking to you. Would that have an emotion inside it? One. If it is having emotion, and if it is not having emotion, would that sound the same for all of us? I believe not. We all respond to emotion, and this is where we need to understand that modulation works and connects with each other. Desired effect in the speech can be accomplished through variation in the loudness, pitch, lift of voice and pauses in the speech, and by laying emphasis and incorporating inflections and etc. And this is all about this modulation and intonation. Uh, we can compare this speech with music, but we don't want to or we don't need to sing English, right? Can we? So, however, we need to speak it in a way that makes it sound pleasant. Intonation and modulation are to our speech what punctuations are to writing. Now, when you're writing, can you think uh, of writing sense without using proper punctuation? No. So, the same way when you're talking, the same effects are used through modulation and intonation. Can I come around and say that I am Anandita Das, full stop, what's your name, question mark? Does it make any sense? It would not. So instead, what I do is that I, in, instead of using this punctuation in this manner, I use my voice, I use my modulation and intonation to bring out the same meaning. And by saying that uh, in this manner, we say that as I am Anandita Das, what's your name? So this is what is modulation, adding rhythm to the way you speak. Voice modulation is very important. Let me make it easier for you to remember. Look at the bullet points that I have emphasized here. Voice modulation is an important aspect of effective communication. There is no doubt, Sadhguru. So I have broken down my, uh, this importance uh, of modulation into six layers. The first one that is most important for any communicator is binding the audience. Until and unless you are taken, accepted by the listener, your communication will never be successful, however good it is. So, the more the, the better you modulate the better you emote the better you bring emotions into it the better you express yourself the better the audience connect with you so the first most important thing about modulation adding up modulation is to talk in a, a certain manner by which you can attract your audience towards it and keep them binded with you till the end of the communication Till that feedback process that we have already talked about previously. The second most important thing, we are talking to human being and as I have said to you many a times in my previous classes, that it is just not their mind that you need to catch. 
it is their heart also that you need to connect to. So modulation will help us to connect to their heart as well as mind by being logical. And that is why the second importance of uh, using right modulation is expressing right emotion at the right time. When we are talking, can I just stand up and say that I am confident and would people take that so? People are going to take my words and they're going to listen to me when they can understand that I have the authority on that subject. So this modulation is something that will help us to bring out our confidence level about the subject, the way we present that, and the way we reach out and exhibit what we have in our minds to the way the people can relate up to. So the third important thing about modulation is that it helps us to exhibit our confidence on the subject that we are talking. The fourth one, do you listen to everything being said to you? I believe not. We love to listen to some of the things and we do not love to listen to some of the very important things as well. Why? Because we might not be interested. The sound might not be very interesting enough for us to connect to. So this modulation will help us to add that interest factor into our speech and which in turn will help the audience to be connected with you to relate to what you're speaking and to question you, to come out with their doubts and make this whole process of communication complete. So the fourth point that we discussed about uh, the importance of modulation is that it makes our speech more interesting. The next point is also very important though this is, <coughs> sorry, this is more about uh, the intonation and we'll be talking about this in the, in the, in the later lect lecture as well, that it allows the speaker to put right stress at the right places. And at the same time, on the, uh, on the other part, the listener, it is easier for them to draw the attention of the listener and the listener to understand the specific areas in a right manner. The last six, according to me, the, there are many, but the sixth point is the last one that I would uh, say is as importance of uh, modulation, and that is bringing clarity in your communication. When you're speaking something, it is very important for to be very clear. Now, when I'm talking about clarity, it's just not about the speech that I, is there, of course. Right now we, were ta we are talking about modulation, so definitely we are talking about clarity. The more clear your, your speech is, the more clear your tongue is, the better the words will come out of your mouth and the better it will be received by the other side. But uh, in this connection, I would be saying that whenever we are talking about this uh, clarity, it's more about the clarity of thought as well. Because until and unless you have a clear thought, you have a clear mind, you knew, know what you really want to speak, you will never be able to bring out the best when you are speaking and uh, no level of modulation will be helpful enough for you to bring out a good communication. So what I would just rewind it, I, I believe you have understood what I wanted to say. I would just rewind these six points again back to you, back and back for you that how modulation will help you to be a good communicator is that it will make uh, you make a, a positive rapport with the audience. It will help you to express right emotions. It will help you to show your confidence and uh, to, to take the leading position. It will help you to make your speech more interesting for the listener to attracted towards you. It will help the listener to understand what you want to say. And 
the more it will help to bring out the clarity inside you both in the ways of thought and in the ways that you speak now the main question i'm sure if you i were in your class you would have asked me is that ma'am how do i modulate my voice now this is something we always do we always speak we always modulate but the thing is that sometimes we are very unconsciously doing that that is why i always point out on you to listen to others when i'm talking to you do you think i am modulating do you think this modulation is important for our communication if it is important so it is for you as well so whenever you're going to speak definitely you have to modulate and each one of you have this ability to modulate many of you sing as well so nice many of you are quite uh, you have drama as your favorite hobby so modulation is of course there but sometimes we are not aware of the importance while we are speaking and this class is all about for you to create that awareness that whether it's a casual speaking or whether it's a formal speaking modulation will definitely play a very important role and each one of us need to modulate each one of us need to and can Uh, modulate our voice now there are four aspects of modulation i will try and discuss one by one to you first is the pitch phase pause and tone these are the four simple uh, aspects of modulation pitch is nothing the up and down in your voice pace is the speed by which you speak pauses the right break even points when you are uh, bringing out your communication and of course tone when i'm talking about the tone it's not about being very 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 uh, beautiful and sweet but it's more about clarity it's more about having conviction in what you are trying to say so if you are following these four simple facts you will definitely be able to manage modulating but it definitely would require some of your practicing so here are some of the things that you can practice by yourself i am giving you seven tips which you can practice back at home and which will slowly help you to create better modulating techniques within inside you so the first one is record your voice all of us are very smart nowadays having a smartphone so you can always record your voice and listen it back and identify as where did you go flat and when you were flat was it good to listen that so then then you can go on practicing on that thing so this works very good so if you can please use this as an exercise at least once you will find that there is a lot of uh, things that are coming good in your communication the second one is sing along technique this is very simple pick up a, pick up any song especially when we are talking about this language english song will do otherwise any song will do listen to the way the singer sings and try to imitate the record and record yourself do, now listen to, and compare you will understand that the modulation the pitch and the volume and things the third most important thing is that listen to uh, watch a movie close your eyes and try to understand what is the feeling by which the actor is saying something if you can understand that means you are able to catch up on to the technique of modulation there are so many one by one i have given you a seven of these tips each one is very important if you can use them while you are practicing back at home you'll find that these are working for you and making sense the last thing that i'm going to do is give you a reading exercise now let me read it a portion for you and then leave it for you to understand what modulation is now if i read it like this in ancient time a king had 
His men placed a boulder on the road. He then hid in the bushes and watched to see if anyone would move the boulder out of the way. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers passed by and simply walked around it. Good? Did you like it? I'm sure no, none of you. Now, this is where the importance of modulation comes. So, following all the tips that we had spoken around in the last some few minutes, if you read now with right pitch, pauses, stress, and rhythm, you'll find that the same thing that I read and it sounded so stale, and none of you could understand anything, automatically sounded better and became interesting to understand. And you'll find meanings coming around right so uh, please read the exercise try and read what you can do is that read record that and send it to me also um, i hope you will enjoy the exercise and understand modulation better till the next lecture enjoy your life take care of yourself bye bye